Hello children, in today's class we will be solving the numericals based on current electricity. Children, in this uh, chapter we have uh, two units. In a unit A we have few numericals, even in a unit B also we have few numericals. So in this class we are going to cover all numericals. Children, in an annual examination of class 9, the numericals based on current electricity are very important. In fact, at least 3 to 4 numericals will be given. Okay, fine. So, before going to solve the numerical children, let us just see what are the important formulas which we have to remember and uh, so that what we can happen, you know, in an exam it will become very easy to us. And not only just knowing the formulas children, we must know how to use, where uh, we have to use that particular formula are very important. Okay, now let us recall one second children. So, here first formula here, as per the definition of current children, we know that, so I is equal to Q by T. Here Q is what? Charge, T is a time, I is a current. Means out of these three physical quantities, if any two physical quantities are given, so we have to use this formula. So you have to check what, are, what is the data given in the numerical. Based on that only we have to go further. Okay, fine. And the second one, children, sometimes what will happen? The number of electrons are involved. Means we know the children. For example, if Q is a charge of each electron, okay, now, like that n number of electrons are there, then the total charge will be n times of q so this in some textbooks it can be written even n e also I mean this represent what actually total charge so do one thing in the place of small q let us take a capital q total charge by time so even we can make one more formula also it is q is equal to n e right we can write it's a n e by t okay so when we should use this formula when total number of electrons are involved okay fine now third one children so, here in a unit A, mostly this only. In a unit B, when it comes to the, you know, uh, we have a concept of potential difference and a resistance we have. So, here potential difference from the definition of potential difference, V is equal to W by Q. So, here W is a work done, Q is a charge with the potential difference. R means this formula we have to use when work done is given, charge is given. Sometimes potential difference charge is given. So, we have to calculate the work done. In that case, W is equal to V into Q. Clear? Fine. And the fourth formula is what children? It is based on Ohm's law. So, Ohm's law which relates, uh, you know, it's between potential difference and a current. So, that is potential difference is equal to I into R. When resistance current is given, this formula we use to calculate the potential difference if not if they will ask you the current so current is equal to v by r sometimes they may ask a resistance also so r is equal to v by i that's it so these are the formulas which we have to remember and here even units children what is the difference between a numericals in a math and a numerical physics in a math children once you get the answer it is enough but in physics, it is not like that. You have to think about the units also. Here, mostly what are the units to be remembered, children? So, here for current, it is ampere. Potential difference, it is volt. Resistance, it is ohm. Work done, it is joule. Charge, it is coulomb. That's it. So, these formulas and these units are very important. Children, once again, I am telling you. You make it a one doubt, sir, which where we have to use these formulas. Purely depends on the, purely depends on the data given. That's what, whenever we are solving the numericals, first we have to write what is the data given and think about the relation between that data. Then you get the formula. Clear? Just copy this so that uh, we will be starting the numericals. So, as we know that there are two units children in this. First, we solve the numericals based on unit A. Then we come to the unit B. Copy children. Can I raise 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah. Fine, children. Now, unit A, first numerical, children. So, as per this numerical, first let us see the data. What actual data given? So, it is given that here, charge is given. So, they said that the charge of 0 0.5 coulomb is passing and time also given. That is a 5 seconds. Now, they are asking us to calculate the current. So, now think about these three physical quantities, how they are related. So, from the definition of current, the rate of flow of charge is called current. So, based on that, I is equal to, it is Q by T. So, here Q is given children, 0 0.5, yes, time is given 5. 
So 0 0.5 by 5 is how much children? 0 0.1. Children, what is the unit of current? Ampere. So this is simple. That's it. Over. Okay, now fine done. Now second numerical children. As per the second numerical, of course you all can see the numerical on board also. Okay, fine. So as per the second numerical, current of 1.5 ampere is flowing in a time of 2 seconds. To have this much amount of current, how much amount of charge should flow? I mean they are asking Q. They are asking Q. So same formula on I is equal to Q by T. But here we have to calculate Q, right? So let us write the formula for Q. Q is equal to I into T. So this will be 1.5 into 2. So this is going to be a 3 Coulomb is answer. So charge unit is 3 Coulomb. Okay, fine. Now third numerical chain. As per the numerical, so the charge of 24 coulombs okay now it is flowing in a time of 0 0.8 seconds then they are asking us to find the current as usual so again first formula only you can take so here i is equal to q by t so this is q value is given how much it is a 24 by 0 0.8 children 0 0.8 how can we write 8 by 10 so, numer num uh, denominator and denominator will become a numerator. So, this will go to the 10 to the numerator. 24 into 10 is how much? 240. So, it is 240 by 8. So, i is equal to yes. That's it. Is it clear? So, with this, these are the three numericals which we have in a, a unit A. Just copy this. We do the numericals based on unit B. Just copy it. Fun children. So now uh, numericals based on unit B of current electricity. So here children, in this, as per the first numerical children, so it is given that here a charge of 1.5 coulomb. So in order to move this much amount of charge, so how much amount of work is done children as per the numerical, it is given 9 joules. Now they are asking us to calculate the potential difference. So now think about the relation V, W, Q. So we know v is equal to w by q so w is given oh not 1.5 it's a 9 sorry okay 9 by 1.5 so this can be written 9 9 by 15 by 10 children so denominator denominator will be the numerator so this will be 90 by 15 so this will be so 6 volt 6 potential difference units are volt right okay now second numerical so as per the second numerical children the potential difference of 12 volt and the resistance is given 24 ohm now they are asking us to calculate the i so this numerical based on the ohms law it is so as per the ohms law v is equal to ir but they are asking us to calculate current right let us make a current as a subject so then i is equal to it is v by r so v is given how much related the 12 volt by 24 so this will be once twice 1 by 2 so 1 by 2 means 0 0.5 but what are the units children yes it is the ampere so current is given 0 0.5 amperes now here third numerical so as for the numerical children here the current of 1.5 ampere and here potential difference of 6 volt they are asking us to calculate the resistance so it is ohms law only but we have to make r as a subject so r is equal to it is v by i v value is how much 6 by 1.5 so 6 by 1.5 can be written as 15 by 10 this 10 will go to the numerator so this is 60 by 15 so here resistance is equal to 4 units are what children ohm 4 ohms it is okay fine now next here come to the fourth numerical as per the numerical children here current of 0 0.2 ampere is given and the resistance is given 15 ohm so they are asking us to calculate the potential difference so potential difference formula yes directly as per the ohms law v is equal to ir so it is 0 0.2 into 15 so this is going to be 3 volt that's it 
3 volt so children this is how we need to calculate children again i'm telling you just you should know the formulas how they are related and when you are applying to the numerical you should think actually what is the data given so based in the data only you have to apply is it clear yes just copy this in numerical children one numerical i want to discuss it's not like a numerical it is conceptual question only uh, it is for uh, you know it's how to decide the flow of electrons and the uh, current actually so that question so it's a, it is given in theory actually so now i want to discuss that is it copy children copy it three two one go yes i want to discuss this important important question it is so here it is given that it is a and here is b it is b so as per the question it is given that this is at a minus 10 coulomb and the potential is 5 volt and this is at uh, as per the question 5 coulomb potential is 10 volt now they are asking the question is that if these two are connected by a conducting wire conducting wire now they are asking us to uh, what uh, what they are asking us to find the flow of electrons and flow of current children flow of you may get one note sir current is a flow of electrons right now it's not that so current is what children it is assumed to be the flow of positive charge this assumption only and the, for current direction electron direction is quite opposite first to find out the current direction how does the current flow children it is always flows from high potential to low potential children some students what i notice you know they are seeing the charge you forget about the charge no for us potential difference is important potential difference is important so how does the current flow current always flows from high potential to low potential so first one current direction current direction very 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 important so now just identify which is at high potential it is a 5 volt it is a 10 volt so obviously b is at a high potential so current flows from b to a over okay fine and the second one children how does the electrons flow here very very important electrons electrons direction electrons flow so electrons always will flow opposite to the direction of the current or low potential to high potential low is 5 volt it is a and it is b so this answer is a to b okay children so if you are thorough with these numericals I'll give you assurance 100 percent that in annual examination okay now annual examination definitely you people uh, do come okay, at any cost you people will do it and don't neglect and uh, some of you may think sir I'm a bit weak in numericals it's not like that whether you are weak or strong just keep on just uh, uh, just uh, practicing this definitely you get the command children don't forget to read the textbook ultimately it is a textbook so you should have a habit to read the textbook so that what will happen you know when you go to 10th class children so you have to read at any cost don't uh, depend on a material don't think that some excer will give a material or else i'll depend on some publishers these things won't work out actually so at any cost you should read the textbook to get the command okay children so for this current electricity some students are asking sir to make a one shot video already it was uploaded if possible along with this video in a description i'll give the link of uh, you know one shot video of uh, current electricity just go through that so that what will happen first watch that because uh, theory, theory means theoretically we should be strong first you should know the theory then you can do the numericals easily okay children thank you so much all the very best